Today on Stu's Cookery Class, I'm going to be showing you how to make bacon or pancetta braised cabbage. It's really simple and easy. Now I've got about half an onion diced here, you could use a couple of shallots. I've just sliced some streaky bacon and I'm going to crush or chop a clove of garlic. Uh, if you have a garlic press, then you could just use that instead. Once we've got all our um, ingredients chopped and uh, also our cabbage sliced, I did that halfway as I was going along. And we're going to pop our bacon in a pan with a couple of tablespoons of oil. And we're going to pop it in while it's pan still cold. Um, and we're just going to keep rendering it down and let all the fat come out of the bacon um, until it's nice and crispy. You can see those little golden edges on the bacon there. We're then going to add in our onion or shallot and let that soften down. It should take two or three minutes if it's shallot. It might take a little longer if you're using onion. Um, but you just want that to be nice and soft. Once that's done, we're going to add in our garlic. And I've turned the heat down here before I've added my garlic because the garlic will burn really easily. And this should only take one or two minutes just to bring the flavour out. And you'll see here that that golden colour on the bottom of the pan is starting to build up. And that's absolutely fine. That'll come off when we start turning this into the sauce. So I'm just quickly slicing my cabbage here uh, before I start to make the sauce. But I'm adding 50 grams of flour into my pancetta and onion. And if you find that yours doesn't turn into a paste and it's still very floury, you can add a little more oil here. And I'm now gonna add a pint of milk, but I'm only gonna add it a little at a time to make my sauce. You might find that you need to turn the heat up after you've added some of the milk, um, because if it's straight from the fridge, it'll take all the heat out of the pan. And as well, you'll notice I'm scraping the bottom of the pan while I'm doing it. I'm pulling all that flavour off um, <clears throat> and bringing that into the sauce. And once you have a nice smooth consistency, you can add more milk again. And I'm just going to repeat that process. So now that I've got a nice thick sauce there, you can see all the golden bits of bacon in there. It looks great. Um, I'm going to add in my cabbage and fold it through the sauce. Now you can either simmer this for 10 minutes um, just to make sure the cabbage is cooked through and it'll be ready or if you give it a good stir through and then just turn the heat off and pop a lid on um, it'll be ready to heat up later uh, and by the time you've warmed it through it will be uh, cooked all the way through. And that's it, if you like this video uh, why not hit that button and if you really liked it why not consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification uh, so you don't miss any future content. And if you did like this video why not check out my midweek meals playlist or maybe something different like my homemade apple whiskey.